Welcome to day three of the 25 apps in 25 day series. The series where I showcase a brand new app every single day for 25 days in a row right up until we hit Christmas. If you missed yesterday's episode or the episode before that, I've linked a playlist down below where you can catch up. But for today's episode, I've got an amazingly simple and free app that unlocks a feature any Pixel phone user has wanted Google to add for years now, the double tap to lock your screen gesture. Before I press on, just a reminder that this video and this series does not have any sponsors, but it is supported by those of you who download and use any of my apps, as well as those who purchase any of the products that I sell on my website, all of which will be linked below. And I do wanna quickly highlight the companion app to this series, my app shelf, which is a library of handpicked app recommendations from yours truly. The app initially started purely as a companion app for my old top Android app series, but has since evolved to feature way more app recommendations, including recommendations from your favorite top Android app creators. And we literally add brand new app recommendations every single day, so it's definitely worth checking out. With that being said, let's dive into day three's application. All right, so for a bit of context, pretty much every Android phone on the market now features a universally loved gesture where you can double tap your home screen to immediately lock your phone. It's a feature I use all the time, almost without thinking about it, to be honest. And I know that so many other people love using it too, but if you're a Pixel phone user, the only reason that you don't love using it is because for some unknown reason, Google has refused to add it to their phones. Now, there are rumors that they'll be adding a double tap to sleep gesture in a not too distant software update, but that's actually not for the home screen, it's only for the lock screen. Because yes, you also can't currently tap or double tap to put the phone to sleep from the lock screen either. But even when that feature does go live, it still won't work for the home screen. And so that's where today's app, Tap Tap Lock, comes in. So with the app installed and open, you'll first see that we get a pop-up telling us that we've got to enable accessibility permission so that it can lock the screen. So let's tap OK, then scroll down here to Tap Tap Lock, tap on it, enable this toggle here, then tap on Allow. Now we'll come back home, then search, and then open the app. And all we're gonna do is drag this top transparency slider here to zero like so. And the only other setting that we wanna tweak is this avoid screen flicker setting down here, which we wanna disable. Then back at the top, we'll tap here where it says widget. Then we'll long press and drag and drop this to our home screen. And then I like to resize mine so that it fills this entire top section of the screen up here. And then we'll tap to get out of editing mode. And that's it. Now when we double tap that part of the screen, it'll lock the phone. Now, obviously I've just used the app to recreate that double tap to lock gesture as closely as possible, but there are a few other ways that you could use the app if you like. So you could use this shortcut option instead, which has a few color options available, but when you place this on your home screen, and by the way, as you can see, you can even add this to your phone's dock if you like, but this will act more like an app icon where single tapping it will also lock your phone. Then if we unlock and open up the app again, we could also disable this double tap toggle, which will mean we can simply single tap that original widget that we created to lock the phone instead of having a double tap. Although that seems like I might accidentally trigger that a lot with a widget this large. But then you can of course choose to not have the widget transparent by playing around with these sliders like so. But my guess is that you'd only wanna do that if you're using a small widget, perhaps something like this. Oh, and for anyone wondering what it looks like without this screen flickering toggle disabled, well, here you go. It basically first opens up a black interface, then locks the phone. And this supposedly makes the reaction to your tap slightly quicker, but it still takes just as long to lock the phone. Plus it doesn't look nearly as seamless in my opinion. So I can't see many instances of where someone would prefer leaving this enabled. But that's it. That is the app Tap Tap Lock, and that is day three complete. Don't forget to check out my app shelf for even more great app recommendations. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next episode. But aside from that, that's it. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you later.